So this video is a follow-up video to my Lions squad selection, my Lions team selection, and this is really maybe where Gatlin might go. And it's a bit of an extreme. I'm looking at who are Gatlin's favourites. No, not negatively so, but who does he trust? Because let's remember, he's um, he's been a coach for the Lions for a long time now, especially last time round in New Zealand. It was a very tough tournament on the pitch and very much off the pitch as well, especially for Gatland. And he's been in the trenches with some of these guys and they've really stepped up for him. And when you've got that sort of history behind you, you know, sure you look at form, but you also look at what have they done in the past. So who could Gatland go back to? What team might he put out um, to, you know, to beat South Africa? Players he knows can step up in the big time. Again, not players that we've necessarily put in on form on this Six Nations. So let's have a look at the front row. Maybe he'll go back to Vinopola, George and Furlong. Now Furlong, pretty much everyone has picked and he's in form. But Vinopola, scrummaging, not been quite right, not quite fully fit. But he's really stepped up in the past six tests he's played in 13 and 17. So that's every single test, you know, for the past eight years, if you like, or longer, of course. Um, so, you know, he's someone that Gatlin knows, he trusts, and, you know, he's not too old either. So if he gets fully fit, why not? But him and George have the same problem I've mentioned before. They don't have European matches and premiership matches to prove this quality, this form. So if they play or they get picked for the squad even, it might be a little bit on what they've done for Gatland in the past. Jamie George, he started all three tests against New Zealand. Clearly very trusted, very reliable set piece operator. Again, not too old. So let's see, will he pick them in the squad? I'd probably say it's likely but he would be picking out of past experience rather than you know, immediate form. In the second row, I think he'd go for the same second rows potentially that he did last time in Otoje and Jones. Um, now, Otoje played all three tests last time out in New Zealand. Alan Wynne-Jones played all nine tests, as in all the tests in 09, 13 and 17. Experience playing South Africa as well and his leadership. So, you know, I see those two very much being at the forefront of Gatlin's mind. Do you think he'll play them together again? Now, on the flanks is a bit of a change, really, because, you know, his go-to flankers of the likes of Warburton, O'Brien, they're not around anymore. But Courtney Laws was a player that he really liked in New Zealand, brought in for the uh, second test, the third test, and indeed he's undefeated then uh, against New Zealand. So he could be a guy they bring in, especially if they want a big six, like a third second row. Uh, he knows him, he knows him well, he's very experienced. Another guy he knows incredibly well is Justin Tipperick. Even though he's only played one test for the Lions, he's still been picked by Gatlin for the two tours, the 13 and the 17 tour. So he knows him extremely well from the Lions and Wales, of course, and he's on form. So it would make a lot of sense if he turns to him. To Lupe Falatau is just a given. Everyone's picking him anyway. He's played four tests in total and started all three against New Zealand. So, you know, it's very likely he would go to him for his number eight option. At halfback, maybe he'll go for the Irish option of Murray and Sexton together. Between them, they've got 10 tests for British and Irish Lions. Murray was first choice against New Zealand, pretty much. And Sexton came in, started the second and third test, which is obviously the ones where they, they won and they drew. Um, so, you know, he's got loads of experience under his belt and also came in and made a difference, which is important. In the centres, maybe he will go for Farrell in the centres. Many of you guys were saying in the comments when I pick my squad is, you know, I'm surprised you haven't seen uh, Farrell's not there. I think Gatland will pick him. And I think you're right. I think he probably will pick him on form. From what I've seen, I can't put him in the squad myself at the moment. But, you know, he's been amazing for the Lions and Gatland. Four tests, two starts at 12 in New Zealand, which is important, and also 31 points for the Lions. So if he wants a tried and tested Lions goal kicker, he well, uh, may be the man. He could go to half penny, but I think it's more likely he'd go to Farrell for goal kicking and start the match. And Jonathan Davis, who I haven't even put in my squad again. I haven't seen the evidence yet to put him in. Um, he'd have to improve his fitness, I think, uh, in the next uh, few months, which he may well do. And if he does that, 
He's already played six tests for the Lions, seven, the 13 series, the 17 series, every test, being incredibly reliable, and maybe Gatland would move him back to 13 outside Farrell. And what would he do with George North? Well, maybe you'd put him, put him back on the wing. He played all three tests in Australia and was absolutely immense, and I'm sure he would have figured in New Zealand if he hadn't torn his hamstring on the tour. And then the um, the other wing slot, Anthony Watson, again, started all three tests in New Zealand. His go-to man, he definitely rates him. He's mentioned about how good he is in the past. And same thing with Liam Williams, played fullback all three tests against New Zealand. And these guys are all, you know, not too old. They're all in actually pretty decent form as well. So, you know, it could easily be that back three. And who can forget Liam Williams uh, his counter-attack triggering that amazing try for O'Brien, one of the best tries for the Lions ever. So anyway, could Gatlin field this 15 as his starting 15? And which ones do you think, yes, he might turn to? Which ones do you disagree with? And which ones do you think, no, there's no way they can play? They're just not playing well enough or whatever the reason. Love to know your thoughts as always, guys, and I will catch you next time.